Hey, how's it going, everyone? What is up? Welcome back to the channel and your daily dose of Mortal Kombat 11 news and discussion. So, as is the uh, running theme here, there's been no news, really. There's been uh, one game update, and that's all that's really happened for the game. So, we're kind of staying true with the uh, news and discussions thing, just doing discussions as of right now. And today, I wanted to talk about a very curious topic that I've seen discussed in the community, uh, probably since these two characters were an aspect of thought for DLC. The argument is really that Sector and Cyrax would be a waste of two slots in Mortal Kombat 11 coming in Combat Pack 3. Now while I disagree, I do see where people are coming from, but the main argument being used is they were previously DLC and I don't agree with that. But we'll get into all that. Before we get into it, I'd like to promote my Twitch channel, link in the description down below to that. If you don't feel like clicking on links, twitch.tv slash tootintv. Uh, we stream every other day, or at least we try to, and we play all kinds of different fighting games from MK11 to Dragon Ball Fighters to pretty much anything I feel like playing as far as fighting games go. But link in the description down below to that, and let's go ahead and jump into this one. So Sector and Cyrax have been fan favorite characters for a while, and I've seen the argument that, well, you could add one and not the other. And I very much so disagree with that. To me, those characters have been a joint addition since, I mean, hell, as far as I can remember. I know there was a game or two where one was in the game and the other was not, but it feels like, especially since the reboot with MK9, Sector and Cyrax have become this, like, pair. You don't see Sector without Cyrax anymore. And the argument is that they were already previously DLC in MKX. They were, you know, Triborg, it was Smoke, it was Sector, Cyrax, and Cyber Sub-Zero. And I disagree with that because a lot of people don't understand that Triborg is actually his own character. Now, whether they're going to make that character like actual canon or not, or keep him as a backup DLC character that they can kind of use the ninjas uh, to incorporate into that. So, say Triborg is added in MK11 Combat Pack 3, it would be Reptile, Ermac, Smoke again, and then another character that we haven't seen, maybe even Chameleon. I truly do feel like Triborg is his own character, even in the lore for the official character, the official character bio, he is a shape, he is a shape-shifting cyborg who um, kind of took over their abilities, he mimicked their abilities, but he was still himself his own entity. So in my eyes, that is the perfect I'm reasoning to add Sector and Cyrax back into the game. Beyond all of that, we do know that Ed Boon has said that there would be no more story characters, uh, characters that you fight in the story with full movesets that would not be added into the game eventually. And Sector and Cyrax are fightable characters in Mortal Kombat 11's story. They, as Sector actually plays a pretty big part in that. Now, we get into the part of them being a waste of slacks in MK11. Now, I can understand this argument from a certain point of view, right? MK11 Combat Pack 3, as far as we know right now, it is a 5 character combat pack. Though that, that is how many slots uh, for characters are left in the actual game code, at least on the PC version. I'm pretty sure that transfers over to all of the other versions of MK11 uh, Ultimate, you know, as, as far as PS5, PS4, Xbox One, Xbox Series X, all of that, Nintendo Switch even. It's probably all the same in all of that code, 5 characters. Now, I can see everybody's point uh, was saying that Sector and Cyrax would be a waste of two slots in a five character combat pack, especially since we'll probably only get three to four MK characters and a guest or two guests. So if we get three MK characters, it would be two guests, maybe a DC guest and an actual guest from pop culture media of some point in time. And if it is a four MK character combat pack, then we'd still get one guest. And either way you look at it, either way you cut that, even with a full five character combat pack for Mortal Kombat characters, Sector and Cyrax are still taking up two out of the five slots. So that only leaves three other characters. And even more so in a two guest combat pack, that would be uh, Sector and Cyrax and then one other combat pack, uh, one other Mortal Kombat character. And that's kind of ridiculous. Now, the thing that I think they're going to do is they're going to evolve what they did with Triborg in um, MKX. I do believe these characters have a very good chance to be in the game, especially with what Ed Boon says. And I really believe that if they aren't in Combat Pack 3, then that means there's going to be a Combat Pack 4. Because as I just said, Ed Boon said that there would be no more characters that you fight in the story. All that good stuff that I just said there. 
I do feel like they're going to evolve their idea from uh, Triborg and MKX, and they might combine these two characters together. Not in the literal sense of, you know, half Sector, half Cyrax, but in the sense of maybe finally do a four variation system like they did with Triborg and MKX. So instead of, you know, two variations of Sector, one variation of Cyrax, they have four variations, four different slots for it to where you could have Sector and Cyrax, two variations for each, but that's just as far as tournament variations go. With customs being added, that opens up an entire new potential to where you could have different move sets for Sector and Cyrax opened up there. And I, I don't know how it would really work as far as um, picking them in game. Maybe it would be you click on the character and you can pick which variation you want. It would be Sector and Cyrax, and then that opens up a sub menu and you can pick which variation of whichever variation you picked, right? I feel like they're going to do something like that. Because in reality, adding both of them into the game as their own separate character, both of them taking up a slot on the, you know, actual select screen, that's ridiculous. We don't need two, these two characters that are very similar being added into the game and taking up a ton of fucking slots compared to what we have left. But I do feel like these characters need to, need to be added in some way, shape, or form. I feel like a lot of the OG characters have kind of gotten shafted in MK11 and even some somewhat in MKX and I feel like they need to start to make a comeback and that is kind of the same with the 3D era characters. I feel like we should get a ninja, Sector and Cyrax, and then some 3D era characters. I feel like that would work out perfectly for everyone. But in closing, I don't think these characters are a waste of a slot. If they do it wrong, and yeah, totally, they're a waste of a slot. Waste of two slots, at least. But as far as one slot goes, combining these characters together in some way, shape, or form, I do feel like these characters are needed in MK11. There's tons of videos out there already of people who have the modded versions of uh, Mortal Kombat 11 on PC that are playing these characters. And these characters actually have full movesets and full flawless block punishes and you know they can do all of this crazy shit that they could do in mkx and it's just toned down in the mk11 way they even play like mk11 characters so i mean the framework is already there the the foundation the base is already there for them to build on and it wouldn't be that hard to turn these characters into mortal kombat 11 characters and you know give them out for free you know because they're in the game and they have been for two years while that's not going to happen you know a lot of people would pay for these characters and with them already being in the game and having these move sets i feel like they're kind of deserved um i don't want this to be another mkx situation where we have like six other characters that we fight in the mkx story and they have full move sets and we never see them in the game that was a little ridiculous and i hope sector and cyrax don't fall a uh, victim to that curse especially with what the you know head of nrs has said about it um but yeah I, I definitely feel like done in the wrong way they are a waste of a slot but definitely combining them together and doing it right doing it the way that they know they should in my opinion uh definitely not a waste of a slot they they should be in mk11 but then again that can be said for a lot of characters that can be said for natara Serena, Lee May, Havoc, Smoke, Ermac, Reptile, that can be said for so many different characters. And whether we're going to see half of these characters, half of the characters that people are actually requesting in the game, uh, we'll see, I guess. I, I mean, the Molina fans got what they wanted, they yelled loud enough, and I feel like just because the other fandoms don't care to yell that loud, I don't think they should get shafted. But that's just my opinion on that, we'll see what happens. Let me know what you guys think about it in the comments down below. Very interested to hear your take on this. I've seen some of you guys in my comments actually saying that Sector and Cyrax would be a waste of even one slot. So, uh, for those people who think that, don't just say, don't just say waste of a slot. Don't just put, like, four words, man. Explain it. I want to have a conversation about it. Let me know what you guys think. Also, if you did enjoy the video, make sure to leave it a like and subscribe to the channel for more discussion videos like this. I'm really digging these discussion videos. I like just talking about Mortal Kombat. It's probably one of the funnest things that you can do uh just talking about something that you love so yeah uh subscribe to the channel for more discussions like this and hell leave me some discussions down in the comments below to talk about as well uh huge shout out to my supporters ysm dino the thinny master vex pc sir d patrick thompson ricky laughlin frank the tank h2o and i think that's everyone thank you guys so much for supporting the channel i really appreciate all of you but that's gonna do it for me i've been your host my name is tootin hope you guys enjoyed the video again and i'll see you guys next time peace out